Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash and Supergirl and their respective new seasons. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got some new stuff to talk about. We've got new posters. There is four new posters for Supergirl and The Flash. They also released the Black Lightning one. You can check them all out on Twitter. They're on the CW's like official handles. And yeah, so we're going to be talking about The Flash and Supergirl one specifically because there's four posters. And also we have some news as in regards to maybe when we're going to be getting a preview of what's to come at DC Fandom. So yeah, let's get into this. So first things first, the posters. All right, so the first posters we got were actually from not the lead characters of the show but supporting characters of the show apart from the fact that you know iris is like a lead character but you know i'm saying not barry or not Kara. so yeah iris is after but we got the first one was nia now and this was on supergirl obviously and i really like these posters they combine real life with comic books and you know our characters like breaching out the comic books and it's really cool and it just gets me very excited because they are promotional images. I think the photos that they've taken in the past, like maybe last season, and they intended to use them as posters or they were just like in their backup files and they wanted to, you know, use it at some point and so they finally found a reason because, you know, the actors aren't around, they aren't able to shoot just yet. So they found a use for it. And yeah, so the first one is Nia and the comic book panel obviously is very blue, you know, mimicking her powers and her costume. It looks great. The comic book panels in the background, that is her future relative, Dream Girl from the future. She is the character that is part of the Legion of Superheroes that was confirmed a while ago. Obviously, she is in the comics and you can see her superhero suit here. However, in the TV show, she was mentioned, I think it was by Wynn. At some point but yeah so we got a reference to that and then we go over to the flash and the next poster they released was of iris west i briefly talked about this before but never got into detail and so the comic book panels in the background you have barry as he's running as the flash and iris and what is really cool about this poster is they've actually found a image or a you know a panel of a comic book where there is actually glass shattering so it's like iris is shattering out of the mirror verse which is very fitting and i think it's really cool it's a great design i like how they've added shatter effects as well that overlaps over iris and so iris is just in like a pink sort of dress or like suit and she's just you know looking cool and she's breaking out of the mirror verse because that is something that she's going to do this season like very early on this season all right so let's move on to the next poster and the next poster that was posted was just yesterday and this was for Supergirl so for some reason they didn't put Supergirl coming 2021 I don't know why maybe that was just like an editing thing that they forgot to put in but anyway so you got Supergirl here you got the yellow background some destruction going on Supergirl is fighting and you know there is this one interesting thing I think that's Jimmy Olsen in the background so that's his comic book counterpart Obviously, I don't know how much credence we can put into what's happening in the backgrounds of these images, considering the, you know, comic book panels and the shows don't strictly follow the comic books. However, there is a character in the top right of the poster who is someone we've never seen on the show, and I thought it was interesting that he was included. Obviously, he's in this comic book panel, and that character is Wildfire. So that is Starfire's brother in the comics. You guys know Starfire from Titans right now. She's on TV. So, I don't know how likely it is to get Starfire's brother in the show, so Wildfire his name is. But in the comics, at one point he was a love interest for Supergirl in an arc, so people were kind of wondering online, like, you know, maybe is William going to turn into Starfire or something like that? I don't think it's very possible that William's just going to randomly turn into Starfire. I don't think William's an alien. I think William's just William, and yeah, so I don't... Put much credence into the fact that there's a character in the background i think they just found a cool panel they were like oh i really like this panel and you know it looks cool with supergirl and like oh it would look good with melissa in the center of it and you know make for a good poster so i mean maybe it has some meaning but you know the fact that like jimmy olsen's there and we know jimmy's not coming back 
I think they've just chosen a cool comic book panel, put Melissa on there as Supergirl with this new image. We've not seen this image again. They keep on reusing images for posters and stuff, so it's nice to see some new images. And yeah, so they've edited it. They put some lens flares on on her cape to look cool. They've added some rocks, so you know she blends into the comic book background of the poster. So it's a very cool poster. And yeah, so Supergirl is coming back sometime next year and should be filming September 28th, I think it was, or sometime around that week, you know, at the end of September, that's the tentative start date for Supergirl. And then we move on to the next poster that was released. This was for The Flash. So yeah, The Flash released a new poster as well, just after the Supergirl one or about the same time. I believe this is a new image. I don't recognize it. It looks like it's a familiar pose, but I'm pretty sure it's a new image anyway. So you've got the comic book background, you've got, you know, the flash and he's running in the background, that's Barry. You got him and his eyes, his eyes are sparking up and it's just a cool panel. And a thing to notice here, and lots of people did notice, Captain Cold is at the bottom right of the screen. Again, you could put credence into that, being like, oh Captain Cold's gonna return for this season or something, like he's gonna make an appearance, but I think the same thing here, I think they've just picked a good panel and they were like, yeah, let's just use this and let's put Grant over the top of this with this image that we took, you know, say last year or something like that when they were planning to create a new poster at some point. But yeah, so he's in a running pose, he's running, he's got the flash lightning bolt in the background, he very well blends into it because the lightning courses around his body and goes onto the comic book panel. So it all looks really nice and it's a great poster. So I'm a big fan of all these posters. These posters were a very nice surprise to see just, you know, yesterday for the Flash and Supergirl ones. And then for Iris and Nia's ones, it was nice to see them like last week. So I'm presuming with all of these coming out, maybe week by week we'll get, you know, more and more of these for our different characters. Like maybe we get a Martian Manhunter one, maybe we get like a Cisco one soon. You know, I think it would be very cool and it's definitely building up hype, these posters. So I think they're doing a great job. And, you know, the fact that The Flash is supposed to come back to film, We've heard that the tentative start date is going to be sometime around the end of September. That has been confirmed. And, you know, we'll talk about that in another video sometime in the next few days because I don't want to get super into that. But basically, The Flash is going to return and they're going to quarantine like the start of September slash the end of August. And they're going to start shooting pretty soon after. So it's sort of towards the middle of September slash the end of September. And then also you got like Supergirl returning supposedly at the end of September as well. So they're all kind of returning at the same time. Maybe they'll get some trailers out sooner than we expect. And talking about trailers, there is one more thing we have to talk about in this video. So this is coming from Paigey because he was watching Stargirl on the CW and this came as an ad during Stargirl this week. And so it was advertised during an ad break for Stargirl. And that is this time next week, and that was from yesterday, where Stargirl is normally airing on the CW, there will be a sneak peek preview of DC Fandom. So what is happening here? Could we see a sneak peek? There is a possibility that we may get a few clips like they used to do, if you guys remember, like every August they would release this trailer. And it would be like a mishmash trailer where they would include a few new clips from all the new shows like Supergirl and Flash and Arrow say, you know, they include a few clips from episode one and they do it as like a whole Arrowverse like mini promo that's very fast. I think they could do that to hype up for DC Fandom because we are getting a sneak peek preview of DC Fandom next week on the CW and I think that'll be really cool. You know, there is an opportunity that they might, you know, have some interviews in there or something talking about their excitement for DC Fandom. But the fact that it's a sneak peek preview, I'm saying there is a slight chance that we'll get like a mini promo with maybe a few new clips for The Flash, Supergirl and all the other DC TV shows. And I say for The Flash and Supergirl specifically because they did film, you know, some scenes before that were cut out, you know, that were supposed to be for their finales and for the episodes that they filmed 
but weren't able to include in the actual finale the way it turned out. So I would say there is a possibility. I think this will be really cool. So be on the lookout for that next week when Stargo is normally airing on the CW. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.